Today, many people doubt astronauts' flights to the moon and into space. In this video, we will tell you about the most popular myths associated with the Apollo Lunar Program of the United States. So, let's look at them together. Before continuing, please hit the like button and subscribe to Infinity Chronicles. Thank you and enjoy the show. Where are the stars on the moon? On the sunlit side of the moon, they should not be visible. The claim that there are no stars in lunar photographs is incorrect. In some photos, you can see the brightest stars. Here is a photo taken during the flight of the Apollo 16, which shows about 10 stars. There are two reasons for this. The first of these is the sensitivity of the equipment itself and the exposure time. Both film and matrices of modern digital cameras have their sensitivity threshold. For each point or pixel in the picture to be colored, a sufficient number of photons must fall on them. If the star on the film or matrix has very few photons, the star is not rendered in the picture. The second reason why we usually do not see the stars in the images from the moon is also associated with exposure. It consists of the fact that bright objects are almost always included in the frame on the moon's surface, the moon itself, the sun, and the astronaut spacesuits. Because of this, cameras cannot give too much exposure. Otherwise, the light from these objects will light up the entire picture, or the astronauts themselves will look like large white spots in the photos. The flag in the video from the moon flutters. For the first time on the moon, the astronauts of the mission Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong and Baz Aldrin, set the flag back in 1969. Many supporters of moon landing conspiracy theories confirm their theories by the fact that the flag of the United States on the surface of the moon moves under the influence of the lunar wind, and this supposedly proves that the shooting of the moon landing was conducted in the atmosphere, on Earth, in some pavilion. Wait, and indoors. Where does the wind come from? Where is the logic? If you look closely at the video of installing the flag, it is easy to notice it is in motion only when someone touches its holder or the upper rod holding the flag horizontally. What a strange moon wind that sinks with people's touch of the flag. Footprints on the moon. Supporters of the moon landing conspiracy theories argue that the traces of astronauts do not coincide with the soles of spacesuits. This is usually illustrated by something like this, but they missed something. Before going to the surface, astronauts wore special lunar boots with ribbed soles on spacesuits. This was done, firstly, to further protect the spacesuit from damage when possibly stepping on sharp stones, and secondly, to provide better grafting with soil and stability. If you zoom in on any photo that shows astronauts' feet, it is easy to see that they are wearing such shoes and their sole entirely coincides with the footprints of the tracks spacesuits and diapers. Supporters of moon landing conspiracy theories claim that the astronauts allegedly, according to NASA, the whole flight did not take off their spacesuits, were in diapers and went to the toilet right under themselves the entire flight. However, NASA has never claimed anything similar. Moreover, the vast array of photos taken during flights is available in high resolution to everyone. It contains photos of moon landings and many photos taken during the flight from Earth to the moon and back. It is easy to make sure that astronauts during flights are without spacesuits. As for diapers, similar solutions were used by astronauts from the USSR and American astronauts for short flights. The Apollo had a liquid waste disposal system. Astronauts used a special tube, after which the liquid was thrown overboard. The process of using this system is clearly shown in the film Apollo 13. Special disposable bags were used to remove solid waste. This process was undoubtedly quite inconvenient. Some astronauts even tried to eat less to reduce toilet time. But generally much more hygienic than the conspiracy theorists imagined. Upon arrival at the moon, bags were thrown away. As for diapers, 
Astronauts wore them only to stay in a spacesuit when going to the moon's surface, etc. Conditions of astronauts. You also often hear such a thesis that supposedly American astronauts, after returning from the moon, even had a very cheerful look. For example, astronauts who returned from the International Space Station were in bad condition. Again, this is normal. And it is strange to compare people who spent six months in orbit with those in space for only 12 days. But in general, 12 days in zero gravity and little time in the moon's gravity is not enough time for a person to forget how to walk or for muscles to atrophy. There are many examples of how people who returned after short flights felt great immediately after returning. For instance, in this photo, astronauts of Space Shuttle ST-125, who repaired the telescope Hubble for 12 days, half an hour after landing. Deadly radiation. This myth says radiation would kill astronauts during a flight through Van Allen radiation belts. Various science-like articles present as evidence beautiful graphs, formulas, tablets, and gruesome photographs of radiation sickness victims. But, even before the astronauts' flights to the moon, scientists launched a series of rangers' vehicles to fly around the moon. On board, there were television cameras, seismometers, and dosimetry equipment. The results showed that flying along the Earth-Moon-Earth route with a calm sun does not pose a radiation hazard to humans. Therefore, the experts in this area don't believe in scary stories about the deadly Van Allen radiation belts. If the astronauts had spent all 12 days in the main radiation belt, they would be bad, but the Apollo passed the Van Allen radiation belts in about one hour. Astronauts did not have time to receive a large amount of radiation for such a short period. Lost drawings. Many conspiracy theorists believe that NASA admitted that the drawings of the Saturn V rocket and the lunar module do not exist. The roots of the myth grow from the book of the American writer, John Lewis. While working, he needed documentation on Saturn and requested NASA for this. He was refused and wrote in the book that the documents could be lost. The phrase was taken out of context. Documentation for the Apollo project is stored at the Marshall Space Center in Alabama in the Federal East Point Archive at Rocket Time, which made engines for Saturn. About 70% of the documentation is stored in the form of paper drawings and about 30% in the form of microfilms. Some of the microfilms are scanned and available online. The Chinese lunar rover did not find traces of astronauts. So, we finally got to the myth about which we can say that this is not a myth, but the truth. The Chinese lunar rover did not find traces of landing astronauts on the moon. Many, even quite serious magazines and newspapers, joyfully distributed this news. Such headlines flooded the entire internet. The Chinese lunar rover U-2 too did not find traces of the Americans because he was not looking for them. We can start at least with the fact that U-2 too landed on the opposite side of the moon while all the landing astronauts were on the visible side. From the nearest Apollo landing site to the Chinese lunar rover is several thousand kilometers. U-2-2 found no traces, but other spacecraft found them. In particular, the NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter did an excellent job. Aliens Did you hear that the Apollo 11 crew observed the alien spaceship? There are a lot of rumors on the internet that the first landing of mankind on the moon, accompanied by observation of unidentified flying object in space. There is a version that one unidentified flying object in the shape of a cylinder flew at the speed of the Columbia spacecraft and was spotted by the crew during the journey. As always, no one had time to take a photo because the object quickly disappeared. After spotting an object at the trip's start, the crew immediately notified the Flight Control Center, fearing it may have been part of the spacecraft. Houston conveyed that they shouldn't have seen any spacecraft details 
since they had disconnected for a long time. The object flew a few minutes parallel to the spacecraft, not a few seconds, but minutes, and eventually fell behind. The ship's crew no longer noticed that anything accompanied them in the future. No one can ever say what kind of object it was. The crew of Apollo 11 concluded that this object was the protective panel of the body of the lunar module. Logically, the flight impulse allowed this panel to keep pace with the spacecraft for some time. It is worth trusting the opinion of the astronauts, because they knew exactly what the object looked like and what the shape of the panel looked like. Can we target the Hubble Space Telescope to the Moon and show the place of landing astronauts? Indeed, such a powerful telescope could easily show every trace of an astronaut on the Moon, because he can look for billions of light years. So why not look at the Moon? But no one conducted such an observation. So supporters of moon landing conspiracy theories immediately put forward their theory that all this is a conspiracy but no one conducted such an observation. So supporters of moon landing conspiracy theories immediately put forward their theory that all this is a conspiracy. But no, any telescope on Earth can't accurately see the remains of the Apollo lunar modules or anything else related to these missions. Even the Hubble Space Telescope cannot photograph the Apollo landing site and prove that the astronauts were there. The laws of optics prevent this. The optics of the Hubble Space Telescope have a resolution of only 0.5 arcsec. So, he could distinguish objects on the surface of the Earth larger than 5 km. By knowing the distance to the Moon, the size of the object that the Hubble Space Telescope can see is 43 meters. With this in mind, lunar modules have diameters of only about 4.5 meters. From here, you can understand the problem. But as we said previously, photos from other spacecraft are explicitly designed to study the Moon's surface, and there are already clearly visible all six landing sites of Apollo. Here they are, photographed from low orbit by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The purpose of this video was to demonstrate that most doubts about the reality of lunar astronaut flights come from ignorance of mathematics, physics, and biology. We do not encourage anyone to believe us about the existence of lunar flights. We only urge you to read the official version before concluding. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to Infinity Chronicles. Thank you for your time and attention. See you again.